George Packard, Family Lawn and Landscape. And the question today came in that I wanted to touch base on. The guy wanted to know how we balance lawn care and landscaping. How do you work those together? So I'll tell you if you're, you're new to it, this is how we did it when we were starting out. Uh, the lawn care has to be done every week no matter what. So I would try and set that up on certain days of the week depending on how many jobs that we had. Uh, for example, we might only have had three days of mowing um, starting out, maybe you only had a day of mowing, and you had plenty of time to get the landscaping done. But then as time goes on and as you grow your business, then all of a sudden you have two days of mowing and three days of, uh, of your landscaping that you can fit in, and all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you might be at five days of lawn care, and you may have to work your landscaping on the weekends because your lawn care is your bread and butter. That's your steady money, okay? We, before the recession hit a number of years ago, we had had a setup to where we never let go. I was very close to letting go of the lawn maintenance because we were making so much money in the landscaping and we were so busy. I was running three crews and we were so busy that I just, I wanted to get rid of the mowing altogether because we were making way more money in the landscaping. So thank God I didn't do that because when the recession hit, the landscaping plummeted because people did not have the extra money. Everyone panicked and they were putting off all their landscape projects. Thank God we had the lawn care on the side because that was our bread and butter. That's your go-to money. That is your steady income that's gonna, gonna support you, okay? So, to learn to balance them. Uh, now, it's easier now because we have crews that just landscape and we have other crews that just do the mowing, so it's easier. Uh, but for a lot of guys, you don't have that opportunity. I think to answer the question properly, what we would do when we started to get into a pinch, as far as managing the both of them, uh, we would work on weekends for the landscaping. And I would pay my guys extra to work on that. So if I had two guys that worked by my side and we mowed grass all week long, on the weekends we would do the landscape jobs and I would pay the guys extra for that. And they appreciated that, they wanted the extra work, and it worked out well, and that's how we balance that. The mowing always has to be done, and I'll tell you guys, always, always, always try and allow yourself extra time, because you know it's gonna happen, you know you're gonna have breakdowns, you know you're gonna have interruptions in your day, you know you're gonna have rain, you might have a rain day that comes in. Down in Florida, it rains every day during a certain period, and that is an absolute nightmare to try and get through your work. Uh, because of there's so much rain down there. Uh, I can only ima imagine what it's like down in Seattle. It's got to be just as bad, I would assume. But anyway, hopefully that, that sheds light on how we balance things out. Uh, eventually, you'll grow your business to the point where you just have your guys doing the lawn mowing and then have your other guys that do the landscaping. That's, that's your goal. Or maybe you want to be the guy that does the landscaping and get hire some people to do your mowing for you as time goes on, as you can afford to do it and as you grow your business. Hopefully you guys have made some sense to you guys about this. Um, don't forget you can go to our website and catch all of our videos on there for some extra tips on lawn care and landscaping. This has been George Packard, Family Lawn and Landscape, but thanks for watching.